Well, hello there, everybody. Well, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'll be looking to actually, you know, maintain it this time rather than just leave for like a week. But it's hard. Um, I think part of what I'm going to do differently this time is not try and upload a video every day. It's a little bit much. It's a little bit much. Um, but yeah, we will be working on some new videos, including this... Hearthstone Battlegrounds, very different game from what I've played recently, and ooh, we can have some little fun here. So the first choice you have to make is what hero are you going to play? And a hero comes with a hero power. Now I'm not going to overcomplicate things, I'm just going to pick one that I like, and I'll explain that one in depth. Um, so this guy, this guy is basically the Murloc Summoner. Um, this game has factions of units. And this guy, um, I'll show you if the game allows me to. Uh, basically, if you sell a unit from the Murloc faction, um, you will be able to buy a new unit also from the Murloc faction. So it's very good to spam cheese Murlocs. And that can be amazing. Murlocs can be very game winning. Uh, because they have... Uh, a very toxic unit. I'll hopefully be able to show you guys. So first thing I first things first uh, You start off with gold. I'd personally say it's more like mana because you cannot save this gold, right? You have to spend all of it in one turn uh, every piece costs free gold to buy um, And gives one gold when you sell it there that goes for every tier All right, so higher tier units are not more expensive now every unit comes with a health stat and with a with an attack stat. Um, this guy here had more HP than my two units had attack, so he just smacked me. But losing rounds in the early game is not exactly uh, that's that bad. Ooh, honestly, yes, this is a Murloc, all right. And Murlocs are what I want, but um, I kind of have to upgrade my tavern. Like, tier 2 tavern upgrade is sort of standard. I guess not literally everybody does that. There are some exceptions, actually, because of uh, hero powers that cost mana. But mine does not. And I cannot find tier 2 units until I upgrade my tavern. Also, my next shop will give me one extra unit to buy. Um, so it's sort of important that I do actually get that update upgrade out. Um, all right, lose another round, such is life. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so you take HP damage to your hero based on uh, if uh, uh, there's a base damage and um, there's additional damage to units living, specifically the tier. Now, here we had a nice little play. So in my first turn, I bought a cat and he spawned another little cat friend, right? Which is usually referred to as a token. I can sell both of them for one gold. As opposed to um, most minions when you buy them. They don't come with a token. So you can just sell it for one gold. And that's that. But here I had one extra gold available to me. Because I chose the weak little cat. And uh, because of that I was here able to buy um, the Morlock War Leader by selling that. Now Morlock War Leader over here. Gives extra attack to all my Murlocs. Pretty useful, I would say. Because we're going to be playing only Murlocs. Pretty much. That's sort of the premise of this uh, hero. Uh, now, here I kind of just want to be buying two units, realistically speaking. So I'm, I'm feeling a little bit weirded out by it. Um, I'm going to buy two very generic units so that I don't fall too far behind. So, what this little guy does is, aside from, okay, aside from these two giving me extra board presence, they're like duct tape, right? I just don't want to fall too far behind. Uh, this guy gives me a blood gem, and I can play that onto this guy, and bam, from he goes from 4-4 four, four to 5-5. Five, five. Pretty useful. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, this guy is a taunt, and when he is attacked, he gives adjacent minions plus one, plus one. That is not permanent plus one, plus one. That is just during the combat. But the little gem that I played just now, that is permanent. So that's pretty nice. Um, 
So yeah, it, I, I, I just didn't want to fall too far behind and take too much damage, right? I'm already bottom of the HP, so I have to make some choices. And bam, now this guy's bottom. Or this guy even. Um, now, I'm still not being offered Murlocs. And that's really triggering, right? Because I'm the Murloc guy. Where's my fucking Murlocs? So what I'm going to do here is level up. And I'm going to take a reroll. And bam, I hit a Murloc. Now, you might be thinking, but where's your gold? Kaboom. There's my gold. Sold, sold that little free one. And that's not so bad as you might think. Because, I, yeah, I lost two gold. But I can't save that two gold anyway, right? It disappears if I don't spend it. I got a blood gem in return. And it made sure that I won the round. And the blood gem is now permanently on this Murloc. So... A lot of the time, this game is not necessarily about just buying the units from your alliance, alright? Here it is, a faction, you do not benefit. Uh, it's not like you can play six murlocs and gain a buff to all your murlocs, no. But, for example, what this Cold Light Seer just did was uh, a battle cry, so when I play it onto the field, it does something, right? Um, he gave all my Murlocs plus two health for the entire game, right? So that's sort of the purpose of factions. There's cards that buff cards from a specific faction. Or have some interaction with a specific faction. So that's sort of the goal there. I'm gonna be mostly focusing my own board. You can't see opponents, their boards. Ooh, apparently we're gonna be hitting into a ghost. Well, then I'm gonna be mega greedy. So, we beat this board earlier, and then they left. The reason for that, I don't fucking know. But what that allows me to do is it allows me to greedily level up, because I know I'm not losing this round anyway, right? Then I just reroll. Didn't get something valuable, but... Um, because I leveled up, I can now find um, more expense or higher tier units because it's not more expensive. I feel like that needs to be stressed. Like tier 4 units in Underlords are more expensive than tier 1 units. But here they're all the same cost. Um, I'm probably not leveling up in the next 9 turns. And I'm probably going to start cycling Murlocs like a madman. Just rolling every turn. It's it's like a rolling strat now. It's going to be funny. Um, Keep up the momentum, so, friend. we will get to a point where my board is filled. You can have 7 units at most. And I will start selling Murlocs so that I can buy the new more murlocs that my shop gets from my hero power to play them like this guy giving plus two health to all my murlocs and then selling them back and then buying new murlocs it is um it is a nice little chain that you can pull out and ooh, we even have a golden upgrade so i'm gonna go lock that all right so what will happen is um when I buy this, my Murlocs will fuse into one. And rather than a free free that gives plus two attack to all my Murlocs, this war leader will turn into a six six that gives plus two attack to all my Murlocs. But it will also retain all the buffs. So if you look below the card, uh, it says it's trained. Um, it has blood gem plus one and it has plus two health from Murglhal. so that is murloc noises um do not try to understand the murloc noises i will not i'm just gonna say cold light buff or some shit because uh it will not get, like, extra buffed from, like... Uh, or it will not retain the plus two attack, right? That's that's something it does while it is alive, whereas the, um, the cold light buff from plus two health is just something that's permanently awarded to my lineup. There's probably gonna be some confusion end of the day, but um, I feel like so far the game's been pretty straightforward. All right, time to upgrade our war leader. You cannot upgrade something twice. You can't like freestar it, right? 
Th this is essentially free starring it. <laughs> oh, we got something great and beautiful here. We got a Murloc with a battle cry and a death rattle that he gives my other Murlocs plus two, plus two. I'll show you in a moment exactly what that does. Oh my God, these cards are so good. All right. I am being allowed. Oh my God, this game is free as fuck. All right. Am I going to wait with that? No, not really, right? I'll just sell this. Alright. I will describe in detail what I just did there, but... Uh, okay, I'm looking. Alright, so, first of all, when I summoned this guy, every Murloc that I had on my board got plus two, plus two, right? And when he dies during combat, he will do the same thing. These plus two, plus twos will stay there for the rest of the game. Right? Uh, then I played a Murloc that allowed me to discover a Murloc. Um, that discovery allowed me to pick from three different Murloc options. Um, and from that I took a Toxfin. Um, this gives a friendly Murloc poisonous, which means that now this guy, who got it, will literally one-shot kill anything it touches. Let's go watch that. Okay. Well, he was gonna one-shot kill that anyway, but... Um, yeah, that's a very stupid interaction that um, honestly is why Murlocs are good. This guy's also running Murlocs, but he's inferior Murloc because I can cycle them. Uh, okay, uh, let's let's get to cycling, right? So I saw this guy. Bam, new Murloc. Another Toxfin even. So I'm going to give poison to this Murloc who can now also insta-kill things. I sell the boy. Um, I will get a new Murloc. I will three star my Murloc, or two star. Basically create a golden variant, and we just kind of keep it going. Now these cards are sort of useless, so I'm not gonna really bother too much with that. Um, I'm gonna give you poison as well. I'll sell you. Ah, not very useful. I'll sell you as well. I will buy this. I will summon a little token Murloc. I will sell him. I will buy this Murloc. I will also sell you. I don't... I'm not gonna push it too much now, actually. Um, so, and I will spawn this guy, give plus one, plus one to all my Murlocs, right? I now have three Murlocs that will one hit kill literally anything they touch. Um, I am buffing the hell out of this Murloc who gains plus one attack f every time that I summon a Murloc. And I'm basically just trying to get them as juiced as humanly possible, right? Um, now, one thing that does counter me is Divine Shield. Uh, Divine Shield blocks the first hit that any unit takes. Um, so I can't one, one hit KO units uh, through Divine Shield, but that's okay because as long as I get enough HP up with these um, buffs like the Cold Light Murloc that gave plus two health or the uh, this particular Murloc that gave me uh, plus one plus one, I will eventually have the HP that I need. So buy this one, discover a new one, this one gives me plus one plus one on everybody. I I just... Oh, I could have actually free start that if I really felt like it. That would have actually been a pretty good play. Uh, but yeah, I'm just mass cycling Murlocs right now. Uh, okay, now I'll just free start it. Sure, that sounds like fun. Uh, bam. Free start this Murloc. Let's go for a new one. It's, it's all going pretty fast. Um... So it's going to be a little hard to catch up. But I'm just basically cycling units, right? Uh, I just keep spawning more Murlocs. And I keep selling more Murlocs. And now I'm out of gold, sadly. But I'll still have some Murlocs to sell. So that's pretty good. Um, so yeah. I just cycled the entire turn. And because of that, we, we now have uh, another unit with poison. Uh, and we played, we played this guy who gave plus two, plus two to all my Murlocs. Um, let's see. 
We played another Toxfin, who gave me uh, another Poisoner Murloc. It's fucking great, honestly. It's fucking great. I love Murlocs. They are so cute. It's just a stupid way to win a lot of the time. Like, even if we don't have enough damage, which in a lot of cases we do, because we're just spamming stab buffs, right? Like, they just one-hit KO everything. It's the poison. Poisoner Alliance. In Hearthstone Battlegrounds. That's my clickbait title, if I felt like it. I'll just call it Murloc Archomp or some shit. Alright, now we sell the Cold Light, get a new Murloc. Not really hmm, sure about that one. Honestly, what I... Oh, I should have not done that. I should have taken a reroll first. I sold the Cold Light. But you can only have 10, 10 gold. And this is why I feel like gold is a very deceptive word for it, right? It's not really gold. Okay, I might go freestar another Murkai. Um, because we're getting a lot of those. Uh, let's let me just go play this. Um, or I could sell it and I could buy the cold light. Ooh, decisions, decisions. I think I'm gonna go sell it and buy the cold light because... Oh, I could even do something cheekier maybe? Could I... Should I take this? Maybe see if I discover something cool? Oh, look that, I think, actually. So now we have cycled through. Uh, like I said, I'm not really looking to level up that much. I'm just cycling units, right? So... We didn't get that many buffs out in this turn in particular, but we we, we we played some, like, Murloc buffs, and we got, for instance, another plus two health. Um, so it's... it's I, I like this playstyle in terms of, like... It's just very wacky, right? It just feels funny to do it, and to get people with it. Um... And if we can get enough HP on our units and make it so that they don't really die, we can essentially beat anyone by means of poison, right? Like, we're not looking to be tox DPS necessarily. We're looking to get the poison going. Ooh, we barely lost this round. That's unfortunate. If the targeting had been a smidge different, uh, which units are hit is very much RNG dependent, unless there is a taunt involved. All right, so we saw the cold light. Bam, get another poison going, so we can give this to you. Now, he has 42 attacks, so essentially he should already be able to kill, but okay, well, there might be a point where um, we have to commit to a new Murloc to give poison because we now have this guy, this little dude, right? And we want to give poison, but uh, we don't really have a main Murloc anymore to give poison to, right? So I guess we will commit to him, right? We'll just stay in that one. Oh, wow. Um, okay. This is interesting. I got a rock pool hunter here. So I feel like what I will do then is to not uh, roll this and not sell anything and just keep this in my shop. So I can lock a shop. I, I haven't properly covered that. But when I lock a shop, it allows me to um, keep a unit in. This gold will go to waste though. So you don't like doing that. But if I sell this rock pool hunter, I can buy this one. But I won't have the free star potential. Or it is... I mean... I say free star potential. It's, it's I'd, I'd say that's a more comparable uh, thing here, right? Because you get like big rewards from it. So yeah, we have a whole bunch of poison murlocs. It's fucking great. We're trying to feed them as much HP as we can so they don't die. Because if they survive a hit and whoever they get hit by dies, no matter how much damage we have on them, then that's pretty GG, right? It's a little bit of a meme strat, but um, it can definitely work if your opponent don't if your opponents don't counter it that well. I feel like that's the main thing about it, though. 
Ooh, I'm gonna actually try something here. I am going to level up. And the main purpose of that is going to be um, to make sure that we can try and get a Mao Gadon. Uh, which is a very specific tier 6 unit that is really good. Um, we could also just keep uh, my axe around. Just give me a second. We'll cycle some units. Ooh, we could get HP or we could move to free status. I actually prefer the HP personally. Uh, I don't really care if we free start us. Uh, okay. Hmm. I'm not gonna keep this around. But essentially, what you can do if you um, get that specific uh, tier 6 unit that I just mentioned, the Amalgadon, uh, you can get a. F um, you can get a 7th poisoned unit, right? So you will have a board that is filled to the brim with poison. Now the problem with this, and why I'm not really pushing to do this, is because um, once we play that, once we do get that, we can't actually cycle units anymore, right? We won't have bench base. You cannot overflow in this game. So you need to really carefully manage your board space. And I want to still try and cycle units, build HP. I just built the HP of this Murloc high enough that it survived a hit from the um, from one of the opponent's units, and because of that, um, I got another hit out with poison, and because of that, I the didn't lose this round. Really Ooh, another King Bagurgle. Um, that's a great one to be finding. Uh, so King Bagurgle is this guy. I would love to uh, upgrade that one because if we do that. Um, he will give a plus four. Okay, wow. All right, so we play this, so we get the plus two, plus two on everybody. And then we upgrade, and now we get plus four, plus four on everybody. And when he dies, he will do the same fucking thing. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right, these are all garbage. Um, what we should have done here is, before we played this, we should have played the Murloc Tidehunter, which would have given us a token Murloc to sell as well. But... Uh, can't win them all. Alright. So, I already have poison on everybody. Why did I still buy that Murloc? So I could sell it. And boom, we got a cold light because of it. Plus 2 HP on everybody. Um, now, let's look at this guy over here, right? He got uh, Murloc buffed thrice for the plus 1 plus 1. Um, he got the cold light HP buff uh, 6 times. He has... Um, you got this. You're way ahead. I, it's it's hard to even keep track of because they separate it when things get upgraded. And this guy is also, you know, being a murloc memer. Um, just like me. Fucking murlocs, man. Poison against poison. Everybody will die. Everyone shall perish. Ah, um, uh, he didn't go full murloc. He should have just gone full murloc. Now he's going to die because he didn't go full murloc. Buddy, come on, man. Murlocs. Uh, he, he cannot cycle as easily, right? Like, normal boards would have to re-roll to get all these murlocs. I do not have to re-roll. I just sell my murloc. I buy a new one. Again, should have re-rolled there first, then sold my murloc. Because it's one gold that I just did not get. Give another poison. Fine, why not? Bam! And exactly plus two, plus two on everybody. Sell you again. Bam! Plus two, plus two on everybody. Reroll. Alright. And now if this guy dies, plus two, plus two on everybody. Again, we're just trying to buff up their HP, beef up their HP, make them survive the hits, and then we can get that victory. That epic victory. Oh god. They're all becoming so tanky, just compared to a few rounds ago. Like, this guy starts as a 1-2 unit. I haven't even upgraded him. This guy starts as a 2-4, all right? Look at their HP now. This guy, 6-6, six, six, you know? We're, um, yeah, we can also upgrade their attack, right? The fact that that's happening is fine and all, but... 
yeah, considering they're all one-hit killing our opponents, we literally only care about the health, right? As long as their health goes up, the odds that they survive one hit from the opponents go up, and then uh, we can cheese kill them. Now the problem here is this guy has divine shields, and divine shields are scary. But this guy, super mega tanky, right? Gets one hit by the poison. Oh, he decided to not attack a poisoner unit. Oh no. I think we may lose this round. The, the one flaw our strategy currently holds is that there, one of our units is not poison. And that just actually backfired on us. Um, Alright, let's try and quickly HP buff the shit out of us. Bam. Okay. If at all possible, I would actually prefer to keep this because I could still freestar this guy or upgrade this guy. Um, it's not the strongest, but it'll fight hard. Anything interesting? Ooh, the upgrade is here. Yes. All right. If we are to win this turn, I will upgrade this little tight collar. It won't be very significant, but it'll give him a small HP boost. Uh, so yeah, I just played a few um, Felfin Navigators, which give a smidge of health to my boys. Again, all that we require is for them to live through one hit. One hit only. And then they can... They one hit kill the opponent, right? Because of the poison. And then they can uh, deal out another hit. It's really good. It's really fucking good. All right, let's let, let's try and describe a bit better what happens in this final combat here. Um, so does he attack first or do I attack? Okay, so this guy sixty something health insta dies to po due to poison. This guy tanks with the divine shield, but then insta dies to the poison. More poison killing, more poison killing. But this dragon lives. This dragon. So this dragon has divine shield and reborn, so he 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 soaks one hit from my poison, and then gets reborn, um, and can soak another hit of my poison. It's very annoying, which is exactly what this guy wants, obviously. Um, and I did not get a Malgadon, which is not really great. Um, so I was hoping to high roll Amalgadon, which would allow me to um, get a 7th Poisoner unit up on my field, but apparently that wasn't uh, gonna be a thing. So I'm just gonna quickly try and see if I can cycle some more HP in. Uh, and the answer is no. Alright, well, it's gonna come down to can we out-poison and out-survive these units? And the answer might not be yes. We shall see, we shall see. Um, we do have this King Bagurgirl giving plus four plus four to my little boys. But there might be a universe. Like, realistically speaking, this guy has divine shields, which are like the inherent counter to this. Um, we could have maybe looked to see if we could have solved that, actually. Yeah, there's probably some... If I was better at this game, and I'm not that good, I probably could have fixed that, actually. Oh, he even is using poison right now. Alright, nice counter. And yeah, the divine shield's soaking, and he wipes me. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's hard to deal with that stuff. I feel like... Second place, fairly good, fairly good. All right. Um, there is one character I know. Zin loves him. Uh, he's called George. He's like a hero, like this guy. Um, he can give divine shields to any unit, so you can have a board of you know six poisoner murlocs and give them all divine shield, which soaks one hit. So they basically, unless your opponent has a summoning board. Or some weird gimmick, like, one turn kill everything kind of board. You can sort of bring everything down, right? Because they just keep soaking hits. But this is good enough for now. I hope this was sort of interesting to you guys.
I, I think that was fun to record. Um, I like playing this game. I, I took some getting used to. It's very different from Underlords in a lot of ways. Uh, especially because you can't see your opponent's boards, right? Uh, so it feels very much like you're stuck in this one place that you're having to watch. I hope I vaguely gave you a description that was good enough for you to follow what was going on, or at least what I was doing, right? I think that's that. I think that that's the important part for now, and then what the opponent's doing. I mean, we can talk about that a bit later, you know, when I don't have to explain the game. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great one. Bye bye.